Hello travelers! In this video, I'm going to show you around Hilton Maldives Amingiri Resort and Spa, one of the newest and most luxurious resorts in the Maldives. I'll give you a walkthrough of the resort from the beach to the overwater villas, to the spa, restaurants, and activities. If you're planning or already booked a stay at Hilton Maldives, you don't want to miss this video. Stick around till the end as I present to you the lowdown, what it costs to stay at this resort. So, without further ado, let's get started. Just like any other resorts in the Maldives, we were welcomed by a friendly concierge who took us to the jetty where our speedboat was waiting. After a few minutes of waiting, we boarded this beautiful speedboat. It was so nice and spacious, and they even have drinks and Wi-Fi for us. How cool is that? The ride was super smooth and relaxing, and the views were stunning. And then, after about 20 minutes, we spotted the gorgeous overwater bungalows, which means we were so close to the resort. We were excited. Just look at the calm and flat water is. It's like a mirror, isn't it beautiful? At the arrival jetty, the staff welcomed us with big smiles and took us to this stunning open-air lobby where we were checked in. They also gave us this delicious lemongrass iced tea that was so refreshing and cooling. It was just what we needed on this hot day. The resort manager came over and introduced us to Tutu, who was our gem. That stands for Guest Experience Maker and is basically our personal concierge who will take care of everything for us. How awesome is that? And look at this water guys. It's so clear and blue. It's like a painting. This is our sixth time in the Maldives but I still can't get enough of this view. It gives me chill every time. It's so beautiful. Hey, if you have been to other places where the water is more beautiful than this, comment down below. Let me start by showing you the amenities we enjoyed during our stay. The lobby is between these two buildings. This one here is Sip Tea Lounge, where you can sip on amazing teas from around the world while looking at the stunning lagoon. We came here every day from 3 to 4 p.m. for happy hour and enjoyed some yummy cocktails and snacks for free. That's one of the perks of being Diamond Status member. And right across from Sip Tea Lounge, you can see the dive center and the private dock. This is where you can get your snorkeling gear and book all kinds of fun excursions and adventures like the sunset cruise and the shark encounter. Before we went on our sunset cruise and shark encounter, we checked in at the dive center as well. Then we walked over to the private dock where we got on the speedboat for the shark encounter and the traditional donny boat for the sunset cruise. It was so exciting. I, I can't wait to share it with you in my next video. I'll also tell you which experiences are worth it and which ones are not. And over there at the end of the island, you can see some of the overwater villas. There are more overwater villas on the other side of the island, and I'll show you those later. You can also spot some of the beach villas, and in the middle of the island, that's where the workers live. But we can't go there, because it's off limits to guests. But the soccer field and tennis court are available for guests to enjoy. Next to Sip is this beautiful powdery white beach and in the middle is the activity center. The activity center is where you can choose from a variety of free non-motorized sports equipment like kayaks and paddle boards or try some more thrilling like jet skis and flyboarding. Flyboarding is a water sport where you stand on a board that shoots water downward lifting you into the air. You can hover, dive, and do tricks with it. It's so much fun. The big building located on the sea offering a beautiful view of the beach and the ocean, that's Habitat, the main restaurant on the island. The restaurant is spacious and elegant with a high ceiling and an open kitchen. You can watch the chefs prepare food with skill and flair. Habitat is where we had our breakfast and it can get quite busy in the mornings. But the service is fast and friendly and the food is amazing. Habitat offers a variety of cuisines from Western to Asian, Middle Eastern to Italian. You'll find something to suit your taste buds, whether you prefer a light or a hearty breakfast. 
My personal favorite that I ordered every morning is the poached egg with creamy cheese and smoked salmon. I don't remember the name of the dish, but it's so delicious. I also love the fresh juices and smoothies. They have different flavors every day and they were refreshing. They even have vegan dishes as well. And do I need to mention the tropical fruits? As a Diamond member, I get free breakfast for two, but I still have to pay for my kids' meal. They charge $60 per person, which is a bit pricey, but do I have a choice? Absolutely not. I guess it's worth it for the quality and variety of food. For dinner, Habitat transformed into a themed buffet with different cuisines every night. We had the chance to try two of them, flavors of Habitat and Mediterranean buffet. The seafood was so fresh and tasty. But the buffet cost $125 per person, which is quite expensive. But you get a lot of choices and portions. I guess it's worth it. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it so far. If you did, please hit the like button and show some love. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button right now. You don't want to miss out on my awesome content. Do you? Let's get back exploring this beautiful island. One of the perks of staying at Hilton Maldives Amingiri Resort is that they have a kids club for your little ones. It's in this building here, and it's a fun and safe place for kids to play. The kids club has an outdoor pool with water fountains and a slide, and a splash park for some wet and wild fun. The kids club is free for guests, but if you have a kids under 4, you need to pay a babysitter fee. Right across the kids club, you'll find an art studio. Next to the art studio, you'll see the resort's jewelry shop and Jiri boutique where you can shop for some beautiful and unique items. As you can see from this footage, the resort has some lovely beach bungalows on both sides of the island. They are right next to the Habitat restaurant and they have some stunning view of the white sandy beach and the turquoise lagoon. You can enjoy the sun, the sea and the breeze from your own private terrace. But if you're looking for some pampering and relaxation, you'll want to check out the Amingiri Spa. It's those overwater buildings that look so interesting. The spa has eight treatment rooms and each one faces the lagoon. You can imagine how soothing it is to get a massage or a facial while watching the water and the sky. Right next to the spa, you'll find a fitness center and yoga pavilion. It's open 24 hours a day, so you can work out whenever you want. The fitness center has the latest equipment and a glass wall that gives you a spectacular view of the lagoon. Just look at it. You can also join a yoga class or practice on your own in the pavilion. It's a great way to stay fit and healthy while on vacation. And if you need a haircut, a manicure, or a makeover, you can visit the saloon and grooming building. It's across from the fitness center and it offers a range of services for men and women. Right after the wellness buildings are another set of beach bungalows from both sides of the island. The last two bungalows right here were our bungalows. This was our bungalow and this was our kids. Let me show you what are the amenities in our bungalow. Let me show you our villa 318. Once inside, our bed was in the middle of the room facing the beautiful lagoon. We could wake up to the most amazing view every morning. The room also had a love seat, a chair, and a big TV for us to relax and watch some shows. Behind the bed was our Nespresso machine, an electric kettle, and some hard liquor and water. The water was free and they refilled it every day. There was also many a fridge with some sodas and alcoholic drinks, but those were not free, of course. The villa had a closet with plenty of space for our clothes and belongings. It was behind a door, so it looks neat and tidy. Next to the closet, there was a shower with a rain shower head. 
And then there was a bath area. It was gorgeous. It had two sinks, two mirrors, and a soaking tub. We could soak in the tub and enjoy the views of the lagoon. Simply breathtaking. But the best part of the villa was outside. We had our own private pool and a swing. The pool was L-shaped and it was perfect for cooling off and having fun. The swing was so relaxing and fun. We loved to sit on it and swing gently. We also had a small hut with two lounge chairs. We could lie down and read a book or just admire the scenery. The villa was right on the beach and we had the breathtaking view of the ocean. The sand was white and soft and the water was turquoise and clear. We could hear the waves crushing and feel the breeze. It was so peaceful and relaxing. You can imagine yourself here. Let's go back and continue exploring the rest of the amenities on the island. Our beach villas were near another set of overwater villas. These villas were very spacious and luxurious. The ones at the end of the jetty had two bedrooms and their own pools. They also had the best view of the water. You couldn't see any buildings from there, just the clear blue ocean. At the entrance of the overwater jetty, there are two overwater buildings that looks very interesting. The bigger one was Origin, the Italian restaurant. It had a beautiful view of the sunset. You will love dining here on the terrace, where you can feel the breeze and watch the sky change colors. The restaurant was only open for dinner and it served delicious Italian dishes. The smaller one was Eden Champagne and Bar, where you can enjoy some drinks and snacks. It also had a great view of the water and we could see some big sharks and fish swimming at night. Near Origin, there's a beach on the island's west side. It was close to our villas as well. And it was the best place to watch the sunset. We also had a wonderful meal there at the beach shack, which was a casual restaurant on the sand. They served pizza, meat, and seafood, and everything was grilled to perfection. I had the catch of the day and it was so fresh and tasty. It was a bit expensive, but it was worth it. For something lighter or more refreshing, Aura Pool Bar and Cocktail Love is a place to go. Situated inside this huge building next to the main pool, and it had a lot of chairs and tables. They also serve lunch and tapas and sometimes they turned into an Asian restaurant at night. The building also had a PlayStation, a ping pong table and some board games for us to play. It was a fun and relaxing place to hang out while sipping your iced tea or some cocktail. We had a lot of fun on the beach as well. There's this swing on the water that's perfect for taking photos. We took some amazing shots there, especially during sunset. The colors were incredible. There was also a volleyball court on the beach where we played. When we played, we were the only ones there because it was so hot. But we didn't mind. We enjoyed the game and the view. Some nights, the beach turned into an outdoor movie theater. They gave us headphones so we could watch the movie without disturbing anyone. It was a pretty cool experience. The resort's main pool is next to Aura Pool Bar and Cocktail Love. The pool has a unique design and a lot of lounge chairs. It was the best place to cool off during the hot and humid days. We always wore sunscreen because the sun here was very strong and we could get sunburned easily. There's this outdoor shower on the beach beside the pool where we could rinse off the salt water or just refresh ourselves. Staying at Hilton Maldives Amingiri Resort was not cheap though. It was more expensive than staying at Conran Maldives Rangali Island, another Hilton resort. If we paid cash, we could have paid $1,000 a day. No, no kidding. Not including food. That's a lot of money. But we paid with the Hilton Honors points, which helped a lot. 
a standard room reward was 110,000 Hilton Honor points per day. And since I have a diamond status with Hilton, I got free breakfast for two. That saved us a lot of money. But if you think Hilton Maldives Amingiru Resort is too expensive for you, don't worry. There's another option that is cheaper but still very good and the quality is at par with Hilton Maldives. Click on the thumbnail to find out more. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll share some tips and tours that you have to try and some things that you should avoid to save money and have a great time on the island. Until next time fellow travelers, bye for now.